Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier and this is The Piracy Show. Now, I want to come back to the idea of the persistence of money in Star Citizen because this is something that CIG has kind of said that now the money is persistent. Officially with 3.9, but 3.9, you know, any day now, any day now, soon, question mark, smiley face. Um, any day now, we are at the point where money is persistent. Supposedly. But I think that we can all reasonably assume that at some point, CIG is going to reset us or cap us in some way. And they're probably going to keep that fairly... You know, they're probably going to keep us fairly low on the financial scales. They don't want us to spin out of control too soon. But for a lot of us, you know, we want to set ourselves up. You know, I, I'm like, I'm the type of guy that I still do dailies in MMOs that I'm playing. Like even when I don't need them, just because there are generally, there's, there's always a, an income of money from that. And so, and it's something that I can often do while I'm, you know, watching TV or watching a movie, and I can do it unconsciously and just, you know, keep heaping up money and rewards from various factions and other MMOs. And so, it's something that I do in Star Citizen as well, not as frequently, but I still do it. You know, it everything that you're seeing me do in the game right now is almost entirely on like mental autopilot. You know, it's very easy for me to do this. And sometimes like I go like, oh, yeah, yeah, that's where that hundred thousand came from. And should we keep it as money? Should we just keep stacks and stacks of money? You know, get that get that fat cash. I said that my goal was to fully kit out the uh, Caterpillar and the Cutlass to kind of get those ships fully A tier geared out you know, really solid. And then just kind of say, you know what, maybe get a little spreading around cash and just kind of leave it at that. Not get too ambitious, not get too crazy. But I've been thinking about it more. And my opinion, I think what I am going to do is beyond that. Because there are certain things in the game that we just don't have yet. And one of those things that we don't have, and we've seen hints that at least half of it is on the horizon, but the rest of it, we have not really heard anything of. And that is that a lot of the goods that we buy in the game, let's say you go out there and you buy a size six gun for your ship, whatever ship it is that carries a size six weapon. That, that good exists in an ether parallel kind of universe where you can just pop it out wherever you want to you buy that gun on our corp but let's say you're here in levski and you can just kind of pull that out of the pocket universe that it exists in and you just slap that onto your ship and you go it doesn't occupy a physical space and because it doesn't occupy a physical space it isn't something that you can take and hand to another player and receive money for currently in the game and that is something that we don't really see manifesting in the universe anytime soon it's not certainly not a top priority but physical goods that you can acquire for money are something that exists in the universe now one of the things that we have heard about is the idea that players can trade money between each other and that is something that cig is working on and something that we're likely to see we have sort of that idea, you know, you can share mission rewards and things like that and you can create beacons and trade money that way. But that is something that I think that when you think about the money that you're building up in game, CIG might look at that and say, oh, that's something that we need to control. That's something that we need to keep an eye on to make sure that the financial situation in the universe doesn't spin out of control. And that is one of the places where I think that CIG is very likely to pull the lever at least once or twice in the future and say, no, 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 slow down, reset. We don't want things getting out of control. But one of the things that they may not look at or one of the things that they may not immediately perceive and some people say, oh, no, no, they're geniuses. They see everything coming in. It's just like, yeah, um, 
watch my entire video library and see how many things that I've predicted that they didn't think about that in the end they were like, oh no, yeah, that's actually kind of a problem. Um, one of the one of the blind spots that they might have is these physical goods because currently we can't trade them between players, but we know that in the future, obviously, we're going to be able to. You know, a weapon that you cannot you can acquire on R Corp, you may not be able to buy on Levski, but someone on Levski may want to buy that weapon. And if it's an unused weapon that you can, in the future, put up on the auction house or whatever in Levski, you might even be able to sell that for market value or just above market value for the convenience of not having to go all the way to R Corp to set that weapon up. Physical goods that you use to equip your ships have an obvious material value in the universe it's not like once you buy it it's only worth anything to you and not worth anything to anybody else in the same way that if you were to go out in a salvage ship let's say salvage was in the game right now if you were to go out and you were to find uh, a size 6 cannon on the wreckage of a ship that still worked you could pry that off and you could store that in your ship that's one of the functions that we know that salvage is going to have and then keep that piece of equipment and later on sell it on to a player or to a salvage service or whatnot for more or less the price of that equipment so long as it's still function you might have to repair it whatnot we don't know but physical goods are going to have a value beyond their initial sale to you like this is something that we know that is going to be in the future but the problem is is the groundwork that is required to trade these things between players currently doesn't exist so taking your money that you're making right now and investing it in equipment that doesn't just equip you know one or two ships in your fleet like i was kind of planning to do but equipment that in fact allows you to do a plethora of setups a veritable cornucopia if you will of setups for all your ships stashing your money in those physical goods is something that may completely go under the radar and so in the future it is possible that that is something that cig will not perceive immediately because you simply bought these things for yourself you may in the future decide that well i don't need them and now i've got all this stuff stashed away once it becomes a physical good that you have to move at a place like levski or at a place like grim hex and you may then not pay the penalty of having been financially reset because you spent your money on physical goods in the universe that you kept and then later sold on so a lot of the money that you'd be making now technically it's possible that you might be able to keep now of course it is a risk it is a risk in as much as just earning a ridiculous amount of money right now just doing missions 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 get, get that money get that money get that money cig could reset you and physical goods like guns or shields or power cores might get reset as well it's entirely possible but it's also possible that something like that could slip under the radar upside is you have a whole bunch of these goods that you could use to equip all your ships all the different setups that you may think of all the different you know ideas that you can think of what about a Niskis? what about you know this power core what about these coolers what about these shields and let's try all these different combinations building up all this stuff later is still these are still things that are going to have a value that you can sell on and it may allow you to slip under the radar should there be a reset of your wallet but not your vault you know your hidden other universe vault where all these goods right now are currently kept kind of an out of sight out of mind thing you know it's you know it's kind of like the tallest what is it the tallest tree gets cut or the tallest blade of grass gets cut but all the little ones kind of go underneath the lawnmower however that saying goes you know what i'm talking about slipping under the radar with a whole bunch of physical goods might allow you to keep a lot of the money that you're earning in the universe right now and even if it is something that for a long time you're not going to be able to sell on it does mean that you're going to have a hell of a lot of leeway in the setups for your ships because you're going to have all that stuff 
I think that that's kind of the direction that I'm leaning in is that I'm going to have a whole variety of setups for things like the Cutlass, the Caterpillar, and even going on into the Reclaimer and things like that. I'm going to seriously look at getting a lot of this stuff with the possibility that, you know, if it slips under the radar... Once the game kind of gets to that point where we know where we we stand and we know that the foundation that we're on is much more concrete, maybe I can sell all this stuff off and keep a fair portion of the money that I earned now. Food for thought. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the show and thanks for watching. watching so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in the star citizen and squadron 42's development please follow please follow please follow us on our social media channels see you soon